To kick off part two, we have a countdown of 10 of the worst mishits and duffs from down the years. There's not a golfer out there who doesn't hit the occasional bad shot, and it's comforting to know that even the best players hit grimace-inducing shanks. So with that in mind, let the countdown begin. At number 10, it's Sandy Lyle at the 1985 Open. Playing Royal St George's final hole with a narrow lead, the Scotsman's third shot rolled right back to his feet. Oh dear, happily for him, he did still win. Fast forward 12 years to the trials of the future Open champion, Darren Clark. He'd already shanked his second tee shot out of bounds. Got a big slice of luck here to find the green with his skewed effort at Troon. He eventually finished second to Justin Leonard. Hale Irwin finished joint runner-up to Tom Watson in the 1983 Open, and he might have won it if it wasn't for this air shot. He couldn't even pick the ball up. At number seven, two-time major champion Angel Cabrera. This drive on the 15th at Wentworth during the 2007 PGA Championship didn't even reach the ladies' tee. Come on, Angel, you know the rules about not making it past the ladies' tee. Well, it doesn't look like the club slipped in his hand. It, it looks like a total miscue. Remember when the USA paired Tiger Woods with Phil Mickelson at the 2004 Ryder Cup? Their dream team turned into a nightmare. With their Saturday foursomes match on the line, this drive by Mickelson on the 18th left his partner especially perplexed. That is so far left, it is amazing. More Ryder Cup, this time from 1995. The tournament hinging on Jay Hass's match with Philip Walton. The American yanked his 18th tee shot into the trees. Way left. Well, that's way left in the crowd. Walton bogeyed to win it for Team Europe. Did Ian Baker Finch's flying visor put him off on the first at St Andrews in 1995? He'd won the Open four years earlier, but somehow managed to find the road on one of the widest holes around. And watch out for the buggy. In the final round of the same championship, Constantino Rocca fluffed this chip, needing a three to tie with American John Daly. It looked like it was all over for the Italian. I think you could say he was rather annoyed with himself for that error. Remarkably, he then holed this from the infamous Valley of Sin to force the playoff. I think this is the Italian way of saying he liked it. He lost the playoff by four strokes. And this is one tough cookie, remember, Hunter Mahan. Most golfers would hope to find the green from this position, but not Hunter Mahan at the 2010 Ryder Cup on the penultimate hole in the last singles match against Graham McDowell. He did this. Just remember Rocker, the Open Championship. Number one, it has to be Jean van der Velde's horror show at the 1999 Open, a masterclass in how not to let your nerves or the occasion get to you. Needing just a double bogey on the 18th to secure his first major, he hit the grandstand, found the rough, and then chipped into the water. Not only did he get his feet wet, but a triple bogey allowed Paul Laurie to draw level. Van der Velde went on to lose the playoff confirming one of the most spectacular and soggy collapses in golf history and with that claims our number one spot.